Addressing a gathering of religious scholars in the Iranian city of Qam on Thursday, Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizadeh said, from now on, Iran will be able to launch a great number of satellites using low-cost engines. Elaborating on a recent test on an Iranian satellite carrier engine operating on solid fuel, Hajizadeh said, this test has been successfully carried out for the first time in the country. During the past two years, all Iranian satellite carriers, which were tested, operated on liquid fuel. But in this test, we succeeded to use solid fuel engine with a 66-ton thrust, the Iranian commander said. Hajizadeh stated that Iran's new satellite carriers are made of nonmetal and composite fuselage, which increases the rocket's energy and leads to considerable saving in relevant costs. In late December 2020, Iran's defense ministry announced that it had successfully launched a domestically built satellite carrier rocket named Simorg, Phoenix, sending three research devices into space. In this space research mission, for the first time, three research devices were launched simultaneously at an altitude of 470 kilometers and at a speed of 7,350 meters per second, a spokesman for the ministry, Ahmed Hosseini, said. The United States has expressed concern that Iran's satellite launches are part of an effort by the Islamic Republic to develop ballistic missiles capable of delivering nuclear weapons. Rejecting the U.S. claims, Iran says its satellite launches and rocket tests do not have a military component. Last December, condemning White House's remarks, Iran's foreign ministry spokesman Saeed Kadabzadeh stressed that scientific and research progress, including in the field of aerospace, is the Iranian nation's inalienable right and that such meddlesome statements would not break Iranians' resolve to progress in that field. No resolution prevents the Islamic Republic of Iran from continuing its space program and the related experiments. Including in the field of satellites carriers, thus, citing UNSC Resolution 2231 is purely fallacious and fundamentally untrue, he added. As previously stated, the Islamic Republic of Iran has the right to use peaceful technologies in the path of its scientific research development according to international standards, and in so doing, it will not await the opinions of some countries that seek to impose their dictates. Kadabzada added. In 2021, Iran has successfully launched a domestically built satellite carrier rocket, named Simorg, Phoenix, sending three research devices into space, the defense ministry says. In this space research mission, for the first time, three research devices were launched simultaneously at an altitude of 470 kilometers and at a speed of 7,350 meters per second, a spokesman for the ministry, Ahmed Hosseini, said on Thursday. He said the Space Center's components performed flawlessly and the stages of the satellite carrier's launch took place according to plans. Finally, the intended research goals of the mission were fulfilled, Hosseini said. Hosseini said the launch followed several achievements in the Islamic Republic's civilian space program. In 2017, Iran's Imam Khomeini Space Center successfully launched the Simorg carrier with a mission of putting satellites into the orbit.
we will speed up work so that we can become one of the six countries that can launch satellites into the geo, geostationary, orbit, he added. The United States has expressed concern that Iran's satellite launches are part of an effort by the Islamic Republic to develop ballistic missiles capable of delivering nuclear weapons. Iran, which has long maintained its nuclear program is entirely civilian in nature, says its satellite launches and rocket tests do not have a military component. Iran will have good news about its launch of satellites before the end of the current Persian year in March 2022, the country's Minister of Communications and Information Technology says. Issa's report said Saturday Iranian youths have made good efforts to build and launch satellites in the past decade. We will speed up work so that we can become one of the six countries that can launch satellites into the geo, geostationary, orbit, he told in his first news conference in Tehran. Zarepour, who supervises Iran's space program, reiterated that the project to reach the higher orbit was planned to be accomplished in 10 years, but Iran's president Ebrahim Raisi asked to speed up the program. Last month, Raisi chaired a meeting of Iran's Supreme Space Council attended by the Ministers of Defense, Communications and Information Technology, Foreign Affairs, and Industry, where he described the space program as a strong front against the enemies. All capacities have been used to develop the space industry, and launching satellites is just the beginning of this roadmap, Zarepour said.